Hello everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Pal. Today I want to talk about pezantsorhinus issues. Okay, so what is the pezantsorhinus? It's this area on the knee right here. And what does pezantsorhinus mean? Well, pez means foot, and the Latin for uh, ansorhinus is goose. So goose foot. And what happens is your sartorius, gracilis, semitendinosus all come here and attach just to the anterior medial aspect of the tibia right on the top up here and it looks like a goose foot where it attaches okay now the way to identify it is to bend the knee just a little bit we find the joint line and then from there we can straighten back out we just go down about a couple of inches it's not dead center on the front of the leg it's not completely lateral it's like part of the center and then to the side a little bit it's about two inches now, what can happen is you can get some inflammation here. You can get some tendinitis or tendinopathy of these tendons that come together here. And you can also develop a bursitis in this area where that fluid filled sac uh, between those tendons and the tibia uh, can, can cause some irritation and get really inflamed. And as you can see here, there's swelling right in this area and it's it's tender to touch okay right there and it feels really squishy and it's quite painful okay when you get right in there and this pain can be mistaken for many other things some people may mistaken it for a plica or a, a meniscus problem or an mcl injury um, but it's inflammation of this bursa and these tendons that come down so the way i remember the tendons Sartorius gracilis semitendinosus is say grace before T, and uh, that's a way to remember those tendons in that order. How do you treat it? Well, oftentimes this happens in people who have you know some trauma to that area, or maybe surgery in the region that causes inflammation to that area, or it happens a lot in runners, especially runners who have a lot of this valgus angulation or the knee kind of dips inward a little bit and when it does that it overstresses these tendons so having a good orthotic in the shoe is important um, having good flexibility of the hamstrings and the musculature on the inside of the leg um, and then I'm also a big advocate of really maximizing the quad strength and improving calf flexibility as much as possible I also like to treat these with some soft tissue modalities, pulse ultrasound. Uh, if it's really painful, then electrical stimulation to help settle down that pain. Ice is very effective here. It's close to the surface, so things like a Voltaren gel can be helpful. But uh, my treatment of choice is iontophoresis with dexamethasone. Seems to really decrease that inflammation really well. And we know this is pezantsorine bursitis because um, she's had an injection for this in the past and it immediately got better, correct? It just totally settled down. Yep. Um, and that swelling settled down, the pain got better and it was, and, and it's come back, but this has been a couple of years later. So, um, that's what pezantsorhinus is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, do so and uh, you're going to be lined up for a bunch more videos coming up. Thanks.